Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and before I take a single step in this episode, I haven't even put on my headset, I would like to thank you for staying with this series this long. It's... <laughs> this is now, as of this video, the longest running series on Pal Plays. After 10 years, the series I return to is now the longest at 153 episodes, and let's take a brief look at what that means. 153 episodes, and we have barely carved out 50% of the map. Barely. And the same is true above, above ground and in the sky. In other words, this might be a 300, 300 episode series, and that's kind of terrifying to me, especially because I would like to be pursuing other content. I have the next Let's Play in mind, but I'm, I'm in it for the long haul. I am going to 100% this game. I might have to stream some of it, but that's my intent. Thank you, and whatever drink you have, raise it and cheers to another 150 episodes. My word. All right, let's get to the episode. Ah. That's right, I didn't make a cut. I have a goal. That goal, just like when, when we get any new champion, is to experience things with them. There's an X on the map just to the east. There is an empty void just to the west. And yes, while I could just drop down through the, through the surface, that isn't quite as special because I don't know the, the extent of which we will have this companion with us going forward. Uh, the last episode in this recording session has come out, but the comments have been strangely vague and uh, <clears throat> about just what Mineru means. And I kind of appreciate that because it, it, this has not, not been spoiled to me. I feel like I might've seen something online talking about a construct or somebody said you got a robot, but in a game about making constructs and robots, I think I just chalked that up to to auto build or something of that of its ilk. So Mineru's kind of cool. She's not doing anything, but you know what? They're fighting her, so yeah, she can continue to not do anything. Uh, it looks like we have a tower that will bring us up to the surface just below. Is that what this is? It's kind of hard to tell. Oh no, that's exactly what this is. Man, it this is f goes all the way down to the bottom. I didn't realize how just how high up I was. Let's see where this takes us. Oh my word. Oh my word. I hated that noise. Oh, <laughs> when I couldn't when I couldn't use the send, and then I heard this behind me. I thought that they're one of the. Like, Yes, I understand. I'll be right back. Um. Okay. All right. Sure. We have a, a we have a couple of Koroks to get, so I guess I'll grab those and warp back down. Yes, Mineru. Th 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 thanks, honey. I, I I appreciate you. Should I just? Ride her everywhere. I, I suppose. I mean, that's that's kind of the cool thing is you can get. There we go. You can get experience with her as just a companion, like the souls. But you can also do stuff like this. Like, I'm really curious. I mean, I, I'm already experimenting constantly and learning new things about what I can attach to shields or what something attached to a weapon does. Can I attach? You know what? A battery attached to Mineru might... I don't... I'm going to have to get used to that. Uh, a battery might not be a bad thing to attach to Mineru. I don't think a wheel would be helpful. Or maybe I just keep the status quo. Yeah, oh yeah, that was one of the things that I found. Uh, attaching a hover stone to a shield... Um, seems to, if you shield surf and then glide in midair, uh, it seems to delay your descent. I could be wrong on that. It's it's hardly noticeable, but 
I do think it is the case. You will also notice that my battery has been upgraded. Uh, I figured if this is the turning point that I, I believe it to be... Man, I, I wish I could jump forward with Mineru when dismounting her. Oh, I thought that was something a lot scarier than it was over there. But it's just a outpost, which I might even... I might even take care of. Let's see, Mineru, you have... You have a rocket in your hand? I don't know what that does. Oh. <laughs> that's what it does. Okay, let's let's uh let's fix that. Oh, that's what I was saying. <clears throat> I figured that with having met a Mineru, upgrading my battery would make sense for the milestone that I, I believe this to be. Uh let's see. We guard just like this, and then I can shoot everything. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Let's... Guard. And then... Uh, use my... Ow! Okay, I take a lot more damage on the back of Mineru. I've noticed. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, that's what I was doing. I, I was accidentally... Because I can use my bow... So I can freeze them... And then, what bow do I even have? I don't want to fuse a beam emitter to my bow. Thank you. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So I can, yeah, I can kind of, that was my fault. And then can I target you and then beam emit you? Yeah. It's working. It's working. Yeah. And I, I'm curious what Mineru scales with. Um, I'm also... I have been curious about... About that, both in the context of Mineru... How do I get off? There. Both in the context of Mineru and the context of the, uh, the Zonai devices. Because I... It's felt like, to me, Zonai devices have gotten a lot worse over time. Where they're only doing, like, five damage. Uh, and it just does it doesn't make sense except for maybe the like an ice emitter um, To be fusing them to anything Because they don't like I don't know where their damage is pulled from Does that make sense like f for example my my rook or no is it rook? Yeah, no my rook What determines how much damage those beams do I I have no idea I'd love to know Oh, you know, it'd be great you know, it'd be fantastic, if not a little bit scary, if I uncovered f or encountered Phantom Ganon. I would love to fight F Phantom Ganon in a mech. Can that happen, please? All right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you. I like the options that I have on on the back of Mineru. It it feels like I have a lot to do, a lot to keep track of, and that's kind of neat. Like I can guard. And I can move while I'm guarding, which is sweet. Oh, you know what I can probably do? Oh, I'm gl so glad they let me pick up stuff while in the back. Can I guard? And then use my back part? Uh, that's... That's not the button. No, I can't. Okay. Alright, well, that's... That's good to know. You know, something I miss... Oh, actually, ooh, wait, hold on. Don't I have a glow? I do have a glow. I'm, I'm gonna eat the glow. I kind of miss when Bakoblins... And I know this was more of a one-off thing. Like, it's kind of the exception, not the rule. But I like it when Bakoblins and Moblins have personalities. Uh, the only real game where that's the case... At least, correct me if I'm wrong is Wind Waker, where it, there was Mo the Moblin. Uh, I should probably climb this. I kind of miss that, because them just being mindless crony cronies means that the only enemies that can have personality are the Yiga. And don't get me wrong, I don't mind the, the, the Yiga's personality. I think they have a good bit. But as I've said before, sometimes it feels like they overstay their welcome. They're, the bit gets old, you know? Like, even in Xenoblade, like, Turkins have a personality. In fact, 
I I think that if there is another game set in Xenoblade, I don't know anything about Future Redeemed. It could be the case. Uh, that a Turkin comrade would be great. Turkin and a Napon next to each other, they, there's nothing they wouldn't argue over, and that's just really exciting to me. Uh, we have received reports of sounds coming from inside the large wall to the southwest. Specifically, they're coming up from the striped wall that extends up to the ceiling. Okay. We've searched the depths for some sort of entry point, but to no avail. Were the sounds a figment of our imagination? Or could it be that there is an entrance somewhere else? If only we had a map of this place, we would we could know for sure. Glory to Master Koga, glory to my, mankind. They are referring... I Southwest, yeah, they're referring to this. Yeah, the, that's that's it. We already did that, so we're, we're good. Um, now we killed... Oh, wait, I didn't realize that there were spikes on that side. What is this? Oh, we've seen this before. But this one... Why does this go so fast? I feel like the other ones have not gone this fast. And I don't see what would drive that. Uh, how it would drive. Where's the thing? What? 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 I'm glad I looked up. That is a rave party up there. And a fantastic thumbnail. In fact, I am a photographer and I always forget to photograph. So there we go. Lasers. Wow. Wow. I am on a thing. Where... Where's my recipe? I killed the guy with the... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I killed the guy with the rune, but I didn't see where it was. Let's see, left side is always useless, so I always open the left side first. I should probably not do that. You know what? From here on out, from here on out, I'm opening the right side first and skipping out the left side because that's just... Good. Oh, look, it's Toby from Okami. Uh, beam spinner. Ooh, I mean, I already do that, but, you know, it's cool to have that recipe, bro. Uh, oh, what am I doing? Why, why am I just looking at this guy? Can I get a talon? Nope. I'll take that, though. Have I gotten a scale? Actually, though, have I not- have I gotten a scale this- This game? I don't think I have. Oh, hi. I mean, what- what are you gonna do? Do I have- That is the first Farage scale I've ever gotten. Uh, but that's also not what we're after. Okay, I really- Oh! I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. I'm gonna eat one of my stews. Goodbye. Catch me if you can. You're no match for my fanciful diner manners. And they just give up. Uh, let's see if this this works. If I turn around and then dismount. Yeah, yeah, movement options, movement options. That was another thought I had. The bussin' layer <laughs> Uh, There are two ways to read that. There, well, I mean, two non-correct ways. The- the bussy- the bussy light route. I promise never to say that again. Are Bokoblins in 2D Zelda? The Moblins are, for sure, but are Bokoblins? I don't really- they feel like a 3D enemy for some reason. Uh, okay. So, this is a chasm, we got what we needed from that, so we're- we're done in this corner. Yeah, we're done. Oh, I was gonna go to the X, and I totally forgot. Okay, let's... let's... Actually, can I even? Oh, I can't- I can't even get that X. There's a river. My- I was thinking, oh, I can just circle around, but no, no, that's- that's a river, honey. I- I can't get that, so we'll have to save that for later. Uh, let's work back to the, um, the Mu- Mujo, the Mukoju Buddha light route, and head south. Is that a bargainer statue? Wait. As I load it in... Oh, it is a bargainer statue. Have we seen that one before? Am I crazy? I don't remember that one. There's my... woman. I wonder what she actually looks like. Mineru. That means that she's... one of the Zonai, right? Mm. 
This is... Oh, my word. This is the statue. My word. The comments told me that I was close to having the solution, but I kind of had to make it... I had to make the... I forget what the word they used, but it was the perfect word for the situation. They, You need to have the wheels turned inward. Pigeon toad? I don't remember what it was, but that, that was the word. And also, there is a chest through this little hidey hole containing... I mean, I don't know. We're going to find out. It is a large... Okay, that wasn't worth the cut. Uh, well, but I didn't know that, so I guess back to the bargainer statue. <laughs> This music reminds me of, uh, what is it, Ranala from Elden Ring? I haven't actually played Elden Ring. In fact, I've never played a, a Souls game, period. I've never played a FromSoft game, period. And, not gonna lie, it's something that I, I wouldn't mind doing on stream. Because Elden Ring has been lauded as the greatest thing ever. In fact, I think I think sliced bread might have moved down in the list of greatest things ever because of Elden Ring. And I've I've seen a lot of people play it, like my roommates, but I myself have never experienced it. And from what everybody's saying, it's kind of a game of the of a lifetime, you know? And probably better than the game I'm let's playing currently. <laughs> Though I do I do like this game. I do actually like this game. The Wellspring of Courage. So despite having seen this on our map, it is not a place that I have visited. So in other words, this bargainer statue might have something new. Let's find out as I crawl up his unmentionable area. Man, are you... <laughs> are you a bargainer statue or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> uh oh. I deserve... I, I deserve that. I deserve that. Ow. Hello! I'm sorry I climbed you. You who stand before me, make an offering. Offer pose to me, and I will give you... bombs. Oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of... I guess it's like a membership? But it's... Oh, Dark Hood. Oh, yeah, we can get that now. Uh... Wait, where... Where's the Dark Hood? Oh, it's just that. So we can complete the set, I guess. Is that what we want, though? I think it... I think it is. I mean, I guess we can't complete the set because I can't... You know, well, I mean, we can, but we just can't get the set bonus yet. Uh, I don't remember what it took to upgrade these, but we have the full set now. For what it's worth. 